At a time when all eyes are on school safety, crime is up at CMS high schools. The report from the State Board of Education says the 2017-18 school year saw crimes jump by more than 100 from the previous year. Our education reporter Elsa Gillis is live for us tonight. Elsa, you dug through that report and took it to the district. Yeah, Allison, school safety and security is top of mind for so many people right now, and a rise in any crime is not what anyone wants to see. But unfortunately, that is part of what we are seeing in this latest report from the state. CMS has been under intense scrutiny in recent months after the deadly shooting at Butler High School. And now we are getting a glimpse at the latest crime statistics inside CMS high schools. From 2016 to 2017 to the 2017 2018 school year, the number of reportable crimes increased by more than 100, from 584 acts to 710. We don't yet have the breakdown for which crimes have increased, but the crimes tracked include having a gun on campus, assault on school staff, and sexual assaults and offenses. Also slightly up, high school dropouts increased over 5%. That is definitely alarming. This CMS parent, after seeing those numbers, told me this is something everyone should be concerned with, not just the district. And I think it's more of a community situation. Each community has to take charge. She was also shocked by some of the statewide numbers just released. There was a 49% increase in sexual offenses at schools and 22% increase in guns on campus. All of these things are very uh, concerning to me. It's alarming. This data is hopeful security changes will cut down on these problems, like guns in schools, but says parents need to talk to their kids. I'm not really sure what we can do um, outside of, you know, talking to our children and, and, and trying to school them on what's going on. I do want to add that suspensions and expulsions have gone down at CMS. I have not yet heard a response from the district about that rise in high school crime and dropouts. Now, the state told me the breakdown of which crimes happened where specifically is set to be released tomorrow. That's also the same day the State Board of Education is set to meet and read this report formally for the first time. Back to you.